Okay, we are goofed up, sir. Nice and gooey now. I got some stuff in my finger. How do I get it off? Lick it. I need to touch somebody. I got dirty. So the blue lock tag they have here somewhere? Yep, somewhere. About the blue. Put it on all the studs up in the train. Even though we're using lock nuts already. Probably don't need it. No, we're going to put a little dab on there anyway. Okay. A little dab. Jeez, it's half a bottle. Whatever. Yeah. Okay, two. Charge them for a bottle. Look how much he used. See, he's enough for all four in one bullet. Look at that. It's like fully coated. Damn, he's carried away over there. Look at that guy. He's He acts like that stuff's free. Charge them now. So this guy should be okay to reuse it. Okay, these got to come from the top to get to them. Where's the one that I just gave you, the small one? That's the one I put on? No, you put the one that's got the oh, extra okay. tang on it. That's that's made tank. for a big ass P1 yeah, damn tool. I don't know why that way that came from. All right, we ready? Yeah, Look at what I found over here. Yeah, it's all right, this is getting kind of hot, dry and crispy over here. First thing I do is put this one on. No lube on there, did you? It's lube. What kind of lube you got? Anything. Oil, grease, turf washers. How about some uh, silicon snot? Engine assembly lube. Perfect. Just a little bit on your fingers is all you need. Don't be squirting out of the bottle. Yeah, I only got one. I got way too much, though. I learned that from Smitty. Be wasteful. Okay, you only need about a half inch on there. It's more than enough. Okay, this one, you didn't put anything on these either. Jeez. What do you mean? I didn't. You're the one right there working it. <laughs> he brings a Loctite. He brings a Loctite over here. <clears throat> red is red. Red, red, red Loctite, red oil. That's the same thing. It's red. There you go. I got enough for everything. You sure? You don't want me to run back with this in a minute, are we? No, I'm good. I'm good. You see that now? Well, I might need some later, but for now I'm good. I don't work too hard. Okay. <clears throat> We're lubed. You got a hose everywhere? Well, we didn't check to see what lengths of these we're going to cut these two yet. Okay, we got to figure out our length here. You can do your mock up here. Okay, what is the length going to be? Okay. Anything way down there. Push that uh, closed in. It's going to be, and let me look at what it looks like on this side. It's kind of like an inch off of here. Hopefully, we don't need this inch. This one here, I think we can move an inch off this one pretty easily. <coughs> the problem we have is just hooking it up. I only have to do that once. Hopefully. Okay, can you hold this up for me? Yep. <clears throat> Solenoid. Okay. The hose does not want to go on there. Yeah, put clamp on it. Clamp it, we're good. <clears throat> you want to put the clamp going straight up so you got access to it with a screwdriver or straight down. These ones you do straight up, I think, or straight down. That's what we call it, a frame in the way below.
That one, you got the clamp going the wrong direction. Clamp needs to be that way. Do you try to clamp up? I won't slide. What do that for? Kind of tight in there. Oh. The view of my head. <laughs> need some water on it? Not really. You need to get it anyways. I don't need it. It's in the wrong spot or the correct spot, I'm not sure. I don't want to go on there. I can't remember the clearance on these things until after we do it. So If we have to flip it over, we got to flip it over. That would be were right. It does happen. Every now and then. This might hit the frame, which means we gotta go up on top. I'm not sure. This one over here is right in there, coming on top. We got access to the screw from the top right here to tighten it, the hose. And our lower one right there goes underneath the bike and over there. So now we gotta shove this in and line up the starter mode on the two studs here. And everything else has to line up also. If it doesn't go in, that means the clamp is probably fighting us. Or something else. Lots of things here to fight us. Our hose clamp is a problem on this one. So we are going to flip this over. See, we're hitting a frame right here. So that is a problem. How's the rest of this? Can you get into it at all? Or can't tell. It doesn't want to go in, that's all I can see. Tell what it's hitting on. Something's fighting us, so we can pull off this other clamp and then we'll come back and Yep. I'm going to do it. 
torch it back. Get back up. How you do it, you gotta fight it. Get a good shot back of my head over film, probably. Mm. Bolt a little bit there, I see. Oh well, it just happens. You should get a good view. It's getting my finger in there and wipe the oil off just over there. So my fingers are rag and goes right through it. And just, ah, very well. Okay. Some of the oil off. It'll have to just work around it. I think we're okay on this side. It looks like it's going the other way. Looks like the uh, <clears throat> feed line here is going to be uh, the way of everything that really matters under there. I think we're just fighting the big line on the other side. Probably too long. like it belongs. Getting room on the clamp up under there. <clears throat> it all slid up there pretty good. We'll have to deal with the starter motor later. Everything looks good as far as I can tell. See if the hose came up the top, see if you're right in the way of that shift lever. Yeah. Shift rod. And it drag on it like crazy. That's why they went to the bottom. I don't know if they did that in 65 or 69, but in 70 they did. Okay, where's all our hardware? I got the back ones here. Just going in a specific way, just you know, it doesn't cold. matter. Whatever lines up. The lock washers are going to do this, huh? No. I haven't had them before. Well, I got locked it on there in a lock tab. Mm -hmm. A little tab does, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going I don't want this all the way in, we're just going to go in a little ways. Tabs 
they kind of want to round off on you. So you push it with all your weight on it to keep it from rounding the head off. And you put a little pressure over here. Whenever you dare. That was enough. Okay, now you gotta get those tabs back up. You know, the ten locks here laying around here somewhere. Uh, if you got a little punch in the hammer, that'll knock it over that also. Use a chisel. <coughs> Don't use a chisel, I'm not trying to cut it off. Channel locks. Channel locks, Channel locks around. Just pass it right over here. So. Pay attention now. Well, I can't. I've got the video going. I can't tell her. Oh, no. okay. Well, yeah, excuse See me. See what happens with your channel off? They flip on with your fingers. So if you're going to tighten these up a little bit over here, they don't do that as much. That's right. Um, uh... It helps to two hands when you're doing these projects, too. You want me to hold the camera? I don't know. Huh? Well, you don't think I can do it by myself? Uh, I figured if I didn't offer you, it's like, well, how come you... Why didn't you ask for this? Here you go. Show me how it's done there, sir. I already did that one. Yeah, I just did it better. Just checking it out, make sure yeah. I did it right. It's a good job. Mm. I can't see your bolt spot. You had your hat on. No, I don't see about that. Yeah, I gotta okay. be able to get in here. See what I'm doing. There's the big screwdriver. Pry it out a little bit for you. Okay, that's a little bit. There you go. Get halfway for you. There you go. I knew you had it in you. Okay. There, you might have to do that. I can't see what we're working on over there. I can't see it either. Can you get some light in there for you? They made this easy on you, didn't they? Yeah. Well, that's right on the top. Yes. What'd you jam it up there for? What'd you do that for? Well, that's a beat on my damn screwdriver. There we go. Plus, it's on the. Uh... Point instead of it's on the point. Oh, point's all right as long as you're in the right spot. Why don't you do it the other side? Can't get it through here. Well, why don't you do it down the other side? Why don't you get underneath the damn thing over here and pull it out? It's already halfway over. Look at that. Oh, jeez. Imagine that. Look at that. Look yeah, how that works. Hmm. Jeez. Amazing. Amazing. Oh, look at that. He got Amazing. that one shot almost. Yeah, that was pretty good. That nah, ain't gonna happen. Yeah. That's where you need your punch and your hammer. Where's your hammer at? Where's your punch? Where's, where's, where's your, your punch? punch? I don't know where your punch is at. There's a hammer. You can use this genuine Harley Davis tool here from V Twin Ted Cycle, Taiwan Teddy guy. Mm -hmm. yeah, don't scratch. Hard. Don't don't scratch that original finish on that. Get into it. It's like two monkeys trying to fuck a football. Yeah, it doesn't work too well, huh? Yeah. yeah. I guess it's gonna have to be good enough. Yeah. Okay. Does the transmission turn? Yes. Oh, that's a good sign. That means the bearing's not too tight. Okay, I'll have to look on the other side after all that work we did. Check it out. Oh, I'll get going to hook up the other line now. I'm going to need my tool ball. I'm going to take my tools in there. That was a spring for uh, We didn't need that spring, did we? Mm -hmm. Turn to the bike now. We don't need it. we go way over here. we got to work on the other side now. There appears to be some extra hose over here. I'm thinking we don't need 20 feet of hose. We might. Okay, so this here is cut slightly long. That's why I was fighting this. It's all right. It looks good. It looks good. I was underneath. Look over here. It looks good because I can't see it. There's a tube way over there. Comes across the frame. All right. It all looks good. See, that's why I went to lower it. Look at we all this room under here. We can do whatever we want over here. See, because I gotta get this this here goes straight into the damn foot peg bracket. So you don't want to pull it taut and then cut right there. You want to pull it back a couple of inches so you got room to work. Well, you got room to have excess. It's always best to have a little excess on your lines and being pulled tight. There it goes. Camera's screwing on me there. Okay, so. Right there. Maybe 
genuine Goodyear hose from 1992, December. This is Christmas hose. We're good. Christmas bike, it's red and white, Christmas hose. Where's your little small clamp? There it is. Ooh, look at that. Make that work. Open it up a little bit. You get that little tang sticking down, so you take your flat bill pliers, flatten that tang out. You take it like this in the back of the clamp. And now you won't cut the hose when you tighten it down. Makes it work a lot easier. I'm going to put the clamp on the bottom so we don't have to look at it. Took my screwdriver from me. To use my other one. There we go. The hoop sticks up too high. So the clamp looks good when it's down low, but the problem is this piece here keeps coming up, curls around. So it's better to be on the other side. Looks wise. And if you want to clean in there, you won't cut your finger. It's not as easy. Right, come out. Got a screwdriver there? You got them all. Three slot, medium, medium, but. We'll one right here. Okay, it goes like that. So now you're looking at the clamp on top, but at least you don't have the stupid tang under here you're looking at or jamming your rag when you're cleaning your bike off. So you're going to look the best, it works the best. Okay, this is a little sharp right against that edge there, which is not good, but it'll have to work. Alright, get all that in there. Looks good. Whew. It only took about four hours to get a primary on. Hmm. It's almost 7 o'clock now. <laughs>